Hey, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV, and today we're taking a look at the new Canon G7. I think that's what it's called. The new Canon G7X. So here's the truth, I've never used this camera before, but when I heard about it having really great vlogging capabilities, I thought this would be perfect. I'm going on tour. I'm taking this to my first stop in Philadelphia, but I gotta learn how to use it first. So here I am in my studio, and this is going to be actually very interesting, is like inception, because I'm on my phone right now, and I'm gonna vlog myself, vlogging myself. <laughs> We didn't want this video to be like a specs thing. You can go anywhere and find a spec sheet. I want this to be a real world. How I use this, I wanna discover it. I wanna see how it naturally ends up working with me or not working with me. And I know you're probably thinking like, Vanessa, you should do research on this, but Quite frankly, when I get a new piece of equipment, it is fairly rare that I do a ton of research on it and I don't read the manual. I know, kill me. Life moves fast and I need my equipment to move faster. That was a good line, heck yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna put this into manual right here. And then now I can click and kind of set my exposure to where I want it to be. All right, well, I know this is recorded back here. Let's see, oh, good, it's recording. You find in my face? You find in my face? There's my face. Although, honestly, guys, I think I would have liked some uh, automatic face tuning in here. <laughs> so far, so good. Fairly intuitive, really easy to find the buttons. Tell me down in the comments, do you uh, often read manuals of everything that you buy before you start using it? Or do you get excited and you open the box and you just want to start playing? So tell me in the comments, tell me in the comments. And I keep looking up, I'm sorry, I probably look like such a dope, but I keep looking up because that's where the screen is. So that's a little distracting. I might have to turn that around. All right, real quick, just going into these files here. I see a little bit of noise in the darks, so I can see it like right here in the TV, a little bit of noise. It's not bad though. I mean, it's 1600 and video and it's not bad. Figured this little walk from my house to my studio would be a great time to test the in-body stabilization and the microphone in the camera versus, you know, when I have it plugged in. So that's what this is for. And then I actually have to go shoot vertical video. Definitely need to change some metering modes here. You know, it's great, it's this auto and it's adjusting for where I am. But I wonder if I could change a metering mode to be spot, because right now it's kind of all over the place. But good test of the in-body stabilization also. Hi, I'm Vanessa Joy here with PPA with tips on wedding day timelines. All right guys, this is really cool. I can go into the play and then change the rotation. So I recorded that vertical video and now I just tell it which side is up. So it's pointed that way. So now it'll play like a regular vertical on smartphones, which is exactly what I want. That and the new face here. Really liking the fact that I connect it to a smartphone, to a printer, to a web service, and even Bluetooth. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to my phone and add a device to connect it. Hi, I'm Vanessa Joy here with PPA with tips on wedding day timelines. Uh, I feel like I'm ready to use this camera and I'll use it for shooting. And next stop, guys, uh, Philadelphia. Are your teethies hurting you? Do you want to give me a kiss? No. You want to give me a kiss? Yeah. Mama? And mom. And mom. So I just put the kids to bed. And before I did, we went outside, we're on our front porch. I actually went to grab my phone and I thought to myself, you know what? Let me grab the G7X. Because when I go to grab my phone, I get distracted. And I do work or look on Instagram. And then I am not actually present with my kids. Uh, and I didn't make it complicated. To be honest, I threw it on program and just use the exposure compensation to make it brighter or darker. I didn't overthink it and I got a great picture of Judah and a great picture of Felicity and I have this Canon Ivy and it prints it right to stickers. I'm gonna try that. Felicity's gonna be thrilled if I give her stickers of herself tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not bad. 
headed to the train. That's the other train to Philadelphia. I have to finish my presentation, which means I have to make a video and already the next stop. Oh, and I've certainly made myself at home. Back to work. Right now, I gotta find my friend Jay, who is picking me up. We're gonna go out in Philadelphia and have some fun with this camera. Say hey. What up? <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, some of the fun features I really like. We've got a lot of creative filters on the right, which you might not use this. You know you'll do it in black and white later, but it's just nice to not have that post process because these photos can go right to your phone. So, you know, why would you want to do work afterwards? You also have those ND filters and it will put them on automatically for you. And then of course you can manually turn it on and off. That I find to be a really cool feature. I really like the way that you can quickly adjust the auto exposure. So far, I've really liked shooting on aperture priority. So for me, leaving it on there, being able to shoot as fast as possible and then adjusting the exposure compensation up or down to get it where I'd like it with just my thumb. That's really all I need. You got your zoom function right here and the flash. I really like that. Got my shoes, got my gear. Now we're headed into the room to get all set up and um, hope someone shows up. So there's that. <laughs> Welcome to uh that's a joy show. <laughs> I'm excited. And so far, this camera is working out pretty nicely. You know what's nice is I can like flip it around and then flip the screen down so I can see what I'm doing. So this is much better. Let's do this. We have our female model, Jessie, and she dragged her boyfriend Christian over. <laughs> Final thoughts on this camera. It's a great camera for professionals who want an easy light solution that's portable, uh, but still gives you all the control that you want. It's a great camera for hobbyists who just want to get a little bit above their iPhone and try out some of these new features. Being able to plug in with my audio and then being able to send it to my phone. I mean, to me, that is just 100% amazing. I do a lot of videos that I just need one-off videos for a vlog or for a sponsor or for a show that I'm speaking at. And most of the time I end up filming them on my iPhone and I don't like it because I don't like the quality. It's not as good as it should be. This is a perfect solution for me. And like I mentioned before, I love the fact that I can be with my family and not have to whip out my iPhone and get distracted by it instead of being present and living in the moment. So this is a camera that I can definitely see adding to my collection. Hey Canon, maybe you want to let me keep this baby? This is Vanessa Joy. Thanks for joining me on my workshop with Canon and I will see you guys next time here on Adorama TV. Assuming that you click subscribe and definitely get that bell so you know what's going on here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to bed right now. <laughs>